first told you about snowmobile problems in Lorain County a few weeks ago. Riders tearing across farm fields and damaging thousands of dollars worth of crops. But the problem is now about more than trespassing. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin shows us how one rider wound up in real danger. It's new tonight. Sheriff deputies didn't know the condition of the 28 year old who was taken by life flight to Metro Hospital. Behind me, you can still see the tracks that were left by him and his friends when they were snowmobiling this weekend. The horizon looks awful pretty in Pittsfield Township, and to snowmobilers, so does all this farmland filled with snow. This past Saturday on Hughes Road, west of State Route 58, a 28 year old was riding a snowmobile on private property around 10 30 at night. When he ran into a barbed wire fence, slashing his throat. And I don't mind him riding. Uh, I've ridden on a snowmobile myself. It's a lot of fun. But, you know, you have to use common sense. The 28 year old was riding on Bill Moeller's farmland. He says snowmobilers in the county often ride on his property and it causes damage to his wheat field. This year, we'll have very little damage because there's a good snow cover. But if some years, if, if the wheat's showing, they'll just tear it right out. We pulled this video of a snowmobiler off of YouTube. The Lorraine County Sheriff's Office said so far this year, they've gotten 21 complaints from residents about people snowmobiling on their property. Um, there are quite a few of them that will not stop. Once they see you and you activate your lights and sirens, they'll just go further on into the field. And obviously, we can't get out of our vehicles and chase them. I mean, there's just no way you'll be able to keep up with a snowmobile. We understand Lorain County Sheriff's Office is going to charge the 28 year old from Medina with at least trespassing, among other charges. In Lorain County, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. New tonight, a teen